good evening everybody right just want to do a short review uh, on the Max Ti Tri ADC and the HDS uh, High CRI uh, this one I've got um, just basically a, a short not really review just um, what I carry when I go camping and uh, out and about when I need to take a few flashlights nothing overkill um, because when I bought my uh, Max uh, Tri DC, I have to admit there are a few reviews out there and a few introductions, etc. But there's nothing. Uh, there weren't as many huge ones comparing them to other things, and uh, it's probably just me. But that's how I like to uh, buy a lot of things, especially say like flashlights, knives, um, any other equipment like that. I like to see it compared to other things that you can recognise or anything like that. You know, so you can get a general idea of how it's actually going to be in real life. Uh, you, know, you can look at all the measurements you want, um, but it doesn't really help it, unless you can see it visually with something else and you get a better idea about things. Um, there's a lot of great reviews out there and all sorts of these things, um, but people have got to actually do them uh, for other people to better look at them. So it's always something I, I take for granted. Um, I always said I'd do a few more reviews and uh, and everything so this is going to be uh, my attempt to do just that um, you know most people nowadays go on the net YouTube etc to find out about pretty much anything uh, nowadays so I thought I'd do some on my own just to try and give something back because uh, there are some fantastic reviewers out there and uh, it certainly helps uh, when you're buying things nowadays to to actually see other people and what they think about it and uh, not just reading about it um, so this is what I take uh, this is just a Maxpedition EDC uh, case. I think the Maxpedition stuff's absolutely brilliant. Uh, sturdy as hell, really well made, um, nice and light, compact. Uh, this one is just big enough, bulging a bit with what I've got in it, but it's just big enough to fit in the side of a pack. Um, you can either, or also should I say, have it clipped onto a backpack. It's got the Molly clips there. So it can go on to an actual backpack that's got that facility, or you can just hang it, you know, off your own person, or as I do, you just slot it straight into uh, a rucksack, and away you go. Um, this is just big enough for me. I can take this and know that I've got enough stuff to last me a couple of days if you're out camping, um, out and about, and I know I don't have to worry about it. You know, I don't really take a lot of big lights nowadays because I've just found that I don't use them. Um, so it's you know it's always nice to have that extra power, but um, I have to admit in practice now after a while i found that the smaller uh, kind of floodier lights with a long run time just suit me much better each to the run so I have to apologise about the camera and everything because I'm using a very very small uh, tripod and not a very good camera so I do apologise in advance right this is all I carry inside this just three flashlights and a spare battery for each, I just carry a double A because sometimes I carry that in my pocket as I'm actually walking before I get these out. Um, so, for the main actual reason of the video, number one is the Max TI Tri DC. Uh, this one, absolutely brilliant flashlight, absolutely love it. Um, obviously, made out of titanium, beautiful machining through and through absolutely fantastic these are really sturdy pocket clip you're not going to go wrong with that a clicky switch tail standing this is the new version because I haven't long had this with the uh, crenellated bezel so you can see when it's on uh, and also with the glow posts and there's obviously your, uh, your tri optics given the name I do apologise for focus on this camera, it isn't very good. Um, but uh, Max, absolutely fantastic machining on this. It's uh, it's just a perfect light to hold, to use. The uh, the camera's not going to show this up very well at all, but it's uh, a neutral white. Um, this is the new one with the XPG twos in them, and. These things are just brilliant, it's just a floody wall of light. You take it out, 
on the low I'll put the specs up of this but on the low I believe it's 40 something lumens for you know 20 plus hours um, and other mediums 200 something lumens and then the highs uh, over 800 out the front lumens uh, not LED lumens this thing really does put out some light but obviously on high you're going to sacrifice because you're only going to get 15 16 odd minutes on it I believe um, problem with some titanium lights I've found is the threads can be a bit gritty when you're turning them uh, on the max no such problems absolutely brilliant machining nice and tidy obviously this is recommended to be used with an 18350 and really thick walls on this thing you're not going to hurt this thing in a hurry and uh, compared to a lot of other flashlights the uh, machining on this one it's super tight, you know, the tolerances you must use uh, are amazing. So, fantastic little light. And I've found this one I use more than any at the moment because I am going to get it sent away to get some lower lows put in. But the low at the moment for when you're, you're walking around camp, say, looking in your rucksack, in the tent, etc. And the low on this is more than adequate for walking around, going to your water source, anything like that. Absolutely perfect. And it's going to last a long time you know i just don't see the point in having something super high powered super long distance try to be inconspicuous when you're out in the forest etc so i don't really want something overpowering the other one i carry is uh the hds if this thing will focus uh, this is the hds one of henry's lights the high cri version and high CRI being obviously colour rendering index and this one is meant for the outdoors really um, and specialist use uh, not that it'll show up greatly well on here no it won't I do apologise but this one is obviously a hell of a lot warmer than this one in, uh, in tint it brings out browns and greens and things like that in a much more realistic light um, so using outdoors is perfect now I found this one has it has a lot you can reprogram these if you've never used one of these before they've got an enormous amount of uh, programs in them an enormous amount of options that you can program in at these and all you do it is by a series of clicks which gives you your different levels um, there's a really low low which doesn't even blind the camera so it shows you how low it is um, and you can change all of these um, which is superb bit hard to get your head around the programming but once you have you can change this to whatever you need uh, and it's absolutely brilliant for that um, obviously all aluminium these are made out of and it takes a 16340 not an 18350 as these so the output on this um, obviously this is a, a high CRI 120 120 being 120 lumens but because of the the tint of it the the color rendering index as, as I've said and um, when you're using this out and about it still seems just as bright as the, the low and the medium modes on this. The high mode on this is ridiculous, but as I say, you're only going to get about 16 minutes runtime on it, whereas the high on this, you're talking uh, just under two hours, I think it is. Um, so, you know, this is more your kind of reliable light that you know is going to last a long time, and you know, you're not going to have to worry about it running out, damaging it, getting it wet, anything like that. You know, brilliant again. It's just a slight bit bigger than the Max. So, even though this one uses a slightly bigger, more powerful battery than this one, this one is smaller, but this one is certainly built to last. Not that this isn't. Um, I'd say most people probably say this is tougher, especially being out of titanium, but I just feel that I could knock this one around more. I'd feel more comfortable knocking this one around more than I would this, just because uh, this is, you know, more shiny, as they say, so you wouldn't really want to damage it as much, which. I suppose it's wrong. I've bought it to use it. I will get it scuffed up in the end, but at the moment it's still a bit of a still a bit of a new thing. Um, stood up. No, this one's a bit thinner as well, but they're both still easily uh, compact lights. Clip onto your belt in your pocket, hang off your neck, whatever you want to do it. Um, so I find that. Because of the lows on this one, I use this more once I'm in a tent or just generally doing close-up things. Um, doesn't really ruin your night adaptive vision. 
obviously with the high CRI brilliant for outdoors and you know the colours and the view you get using this one when you're out um, is absolutely superb it really is very very good and then even though it wasn't part of this main review it's just for comparison the other one that I use is the, uh, the Zebra Light SC600W this one the W being uh, for neutral this is just a neutral white version but it is uh, quite a warm neutral um, again the Zebra Lights uh, if you've ever had one the program on them is absolutely superb it really is because you can you don't need to get anything complicated like the HGS it's uh, just basically every level has a you can double click it and it'll have another higher or lower mode so you've got a low there goes up higher um, etc etc so these are absolutely superb and as you can see a wider head it's got an XML in this one uh, obviously the wide head this one just gives a brilliant wall of light I mean it really lights up all everything around you what you're looking at so again if I'm if you're out doing a lot more walking say hiking at night or you've got you've got to move uh, uh, some distance from your camp for whatever reason you've got to go to your water source or anything like that this one is um, this one is one I'd use because again it's easily fitted in the hand you know it's not very big easily you hold in all sorts of uh, ways obviously the buttons on the front there so you can hold it like that um, obviously again perfectly tail standing and it's not much bigger at all than the other two and this one uses uh, 18650 which is you get a hell of a lot of runtime out of them uh, very very low runtime and I think the high on this one is about 630 600 something lumens that's only for about five minutes um, and then it steps down uh, to protect itself due with the heat etc uh, but then it's still f uh, 430 440 ish lumens uh, on high uh, and that's for a, a good long runtime as well um, well over an hour runtime I think it's ne more near two hours I'll uh, put the specs up for this one uh, but again this one's as I say is just a massive wall of light and uh, it's ideal what you want and obviously it's not a custom so it's a lot cheaper than these um, but it's still up there with them you know by no means uh, less runtime output or anything like that than these two it's uh, another superb light and that's why I carry it because this is, in essence is my big light that I take with me I know it's not big but puts out a a big amount of light and that's all you need I just don't see the point in having huge throwers etc uh, because I've just never ne never needed it I know people who go hunting etc will so that's my Amatech Predator superb thrower obviously but huge well as I say huge it's not really again it's a brilliant light perfectly uh, usable but I just don't need to throw a couple of hundred metres, I'm not hunting, I'm not shooting, anything like that. Uh, I used to carry this one with me a lot just because they can take a hell of a beating, they're very comfortable to use and hold. Brilliant there, uh, crenellated bezel there, you know there's more, you do feel quite a bit safer carrying this one. You can spot things hell of a distance away and I've had this one modded uh, by Vin off Candle Power Forums. It's got an XML uh, 2 in it in uh, about 4000 K temperature um, that'd be too bright for the camera this but um, this is it's quite a neutral colour as well um, this is brilliant again to use outdoors but I do like using it and taking it with me but it depends where I'm going uh, in general use in you know denser woods forests etc I don't really use it as much because I don't want to see hundreds and hundreds of metres in front of me I just like to see what's around me and not ruin your night adapted vision so still a great light but I'm just not taking it very often anymore. So I do apologise for some of the angles here. This camera's not set up very well at all. I'll have to work on that. So you can see the differences there. But again, nothing. None of them are too really big, but obviously you can see the max, the smallest. And they go up from there. Uh, 
the original reason why I did the video compared to a few other things maybe just so you can get another idea that's just my uh, Seiko Monster to give a size comparison and another brilliant folder that I like this is a K bar so you can see the tiny really and for the output they put out and uh, the performance you get out of them uh, they are superb they are customs uh, they do cost a bit and there's a time waiting because they obviously are custom made the HTS IC arrived not due to generally just normal problems but because uh, Henry the manufacturer ran into a lot of problems himself which a lot of people will be aware of um, I ordered this and it actually took a year and a half to arrive so um, it was like I'd forgot about it so it was uh, a little present when it arrived I completely forgot I'd ordered it so it was nice when it turned up but again um, I think most of those problems are sorted now and they're well worth the wait because they are superb uh, I've had three not all high CRI ones but I've had three HTSs I've sold one um, and I've got another modded one now as well as this and the Max brilliant I absolutely love this light I really do home use outdoors um, everywhere doing it close up work uh, electrics anything like that I found this one you can just actually uh, hold it in the side of your mouth when needed and it's light enough and small enough to you know be easy to use and do that and uh, you know you don't have to be worried about knocking this dropping it in water anything it's all o-ring sealed um, it's going to take a hell of a beating it's still perfectly new and shiny now even though I've had it out a few times it needs to get a bit more use into it which I'm sure it will but just a general as I say just a to get an idea of uh, what it is like next to other things um, that's just really why I thought I'd want to do a short video just so people could get that idea um, just put them next to the respective batteries as well um, let's see if we can get a look so you've got your 18650 there, 18350, the red ones for the Mac, and then the 16340 for the HDS. So as you can see, lovely compact lights, perfect for outdoor use, perfect for indoor use. You know, they are expensive, they do take a bit of time, but um, I think they're well worth it. You know, definitely the build quality, um, you know, and the manufacturing and the attention to detail in them as well as the actual obviously the you know the actual features and the uh, the output of them is just uh, second to none so that's it for now from me um i hope this has been useful to uh, even one person because you know if someone's watched it and it's pushed them over the edge to buy one of these then uh, then uh, i'm happy with that i think it's served its purpose so any questions or comments please uh, please leave them below um if anyone wants to uh, see any of these next to anything else or any of my other lights um i've got quite a few you know if anyone wants to see any of them next to any of these or you know vice versa please let me know and i will uh, try and do that um so thanks everybody for watching and uh hope to see you soon bye bye